Oh man, I was afraid of that. Hello. Hang on a second. I know you can't see me. Um, we, we did turn it on. Let's turn it like off and back on. And then maybe like unplug some other stuff and plug it back. And that usually works. Good morning. Hello. When in doubt, power cycle. Good morning or good afternoon or good evening, everybody, depending on what time it is for you, where you are. Happy Friday from myself and Miss Kira. How you doing, Kira? You got any words for your people? She's got purse. You smell like periguano. I've got big plans today. <laughs> hey, everyone. It's Dark Hazel. Hello. How are you guys doing today? Pleased to announce, finally farmed enough gold for my light forged warframe last night. No more professions, time to make a new light forged Draenei. Oh, that sounds fun. Oh man, you're free. I am going today to pick back up a grind that I've kind of done off and on since BFA that has just never paid off for me yet, which is shark bait. Ooh ha ha. I don't have one and I've had quite enough of that. Um, it's the parrot mount. It's very cool. I have other colors of the parrot. I have, um, the green one from Island Expeditions, and then I have the purple one from the Trading Post. But I need the red one. Because reasons. Um, I was just planting a couple seeds in my druid, because I figure I should probably try to do... Remember to do the seed bloom weeklies on, um, on a couple of characters, just so I can, like, keep chipping through that vendor with the weekly guaranteed seed bloom. That seems like a... A good idea if I ever want to get all that transmog. I don't know if I'm ever going to be so into transmog collecting that I'll be like, you know what, I have 27 appearances left that I didn't get from the seeds. But it's possible. Um, so I'm going to at least finish this one. Plus, it might be good for his rep weekly. But then I'm going to set up. I'm going to run some freehold because I'm not in the mood to do King's Rest just yet. <laughs> but I want to loot these just because they could have transmog all by themselves. Could be. <laughs> Hoping I was getting it during Mythic Plus last season. Nope. I had that same thought. I figured I'm I'm running keys. I'm a I'm a mythic plus player sometimes on occasion. I've been known to dabble. What I never did was I never like sat down and chained freehold specifically for the mount. Like I could have just, you know, sought out like low freehold keys and then just done those. And I never really did that. Um also, the window in which we had a free teleport from Valdrakan directly into Borellus is over. <laughs> or not Borellus, uh, Tyr Guard Sound 4 Freehold. We During that Mythic Plus season, there was like a nice easy way to get there. Now I think my plan is just to take them to the Stormwind Room and then to Borellus and then just fly from there. It's not crazy far. It's a good excuse to use a old-fashioned flying mount. Mm -hmm. And then loot this one. And then I think that's five. Oh yeah, turn it in. That's right. Mound of mounts you get last season was so nice. Only got one of three. I got the the Krog at least. Um, I still needed... This is a different thing. I got the Krog. I still need the King's Rest mount and the Freehold mount. Also, like, lots of other stuff in the game. But I figured that would be a fun thing to do today specifically. I figured I wanted to pick something and do it. Uh, so we'll turn this in real quick and then see... See about things. I spent some supplies on this character to just buy a little stash of the green seeds, both for transmog chances, but also um, just to have seeds to plant. Because I find on these alts that I'm not really playing outdoors in the Emerald Dream all that much. They don't get very many seeds. They get like a couple of them from their weeklies, but I'm not... My main has like 50 plus of the green seeds hanging around, and I don't know from what. From something, I'm sure. Oh, hello. Good afternoon or evening to ya. Uh, I'm not doing the super bloom. I did the super bloom yesterday in this character. There's an argument to be made towards doing it on other characters, at least the weekly, but I don't know. Anything good from here? We got a cold, crisp collar, just a neck piece. Certainly don't need that. <sighs> Last night, I did. Am I going to try to finish the bark bloom set, or do I want to look for. Do I want to focus on weapons? I had some thought about weapons, but. Let's, let's, uh, let's finish the leather set. I kind of started buying it. There's, um, <laughs> the feet are kind of funny looking. Is the belt cool? The belt's even funnier looking. Uh, let's buy the mask. You never know when you're going to want that. Done. <sighs> you can buy things from other armor types as well and then mail them to characters that can learn them, but 
That's a later me problem. That really didn't get me another 250, 250 Dream Wardens rep. Man, <laughs> now that I'm renowned 20, it is way harder to get the weekly done because you don't just auto get it whenever you do, um, you don't just automatically get it whenever you do the, uh, the seed bloom weekly. Like that used to give me basically 1500 all by itself when I had all the bonuses up. Um, I think I didn't loot all my seeds, though. I think that maybe I have a few more seeds. I, how many did I plant? <laughs> Buy the supply turn ins Yeah, that's a good idea. I might, I might, it might come to that. Did I plant one over here? I did plant one over here. Maybe I'll get the rep from looting the seeds. Maybe I didn't, if I didn't loot five, then there'll be some rep from that, I think. Well, you would think. That didn't give me any rep. It just gave me five, five flight stones. This is not shark bait. <laughs> False advertising. Yeah, I didn't do the world boss. I could do the world boss. That might... Does it give 250 rep? It might. I don't know what it gives. And I definitely don't need this, so... Yeah. Rats. I wonder why. Three streams in a row, let's go! Yeah, the 1500 one. I'm not so, I'm not so fussed about the 3k one. Oh, I suppose I'll do the, the world boss real quick just to see if that gets me, gets me over that gap. Mm, couldn't hurt to- well, it could hurt to plant another seed because I might want those seeds to plant for next week. I have the druid form from the world boss already, unless it drops more than one. We got it on the very first drop. <laughs> world boss is 100? Hmm. Human, that 10%, pretty big. Yeah. I feel like you're supposed to get, like, rep from your first handful of seeds. And I got rep from some of them, but I don't feel like I got rep from all of them. What do I want this for anyway? Like a spark or something? I guess that there's transmog that can drop from the from that bag that I don't have. That's probably what I want. If I had to hazard a hazard a guess. Hmm. I did the normal raid last night on my hunter. And she kinda cranks. She's doing good. She's like 465, I think. She's like creeping up towards item level 470, which I think would be pretty sweet. Okay, let's <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear. I'm also in my resto specs still. Can I do any damage as resto to a thing? If I put up both my dots and my adaptive swarm and wrath. Yeah! Yeah, that's fine. That'll do. Plant one of these. They need to have 50 of 100 to give rep. Oh! Oh, 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 okay. That makes a lot more sense. So if I sink do into this one, assuming that I have it, which I probably do. Um, Yeah, if we, if we sink this one up to 50 then. That should help. That should do it. And then as long as I... If I join a world boss group, I just need to... Um, whenever I leave, the seed should be here. My hunter is beast mastery. <laughs> I like it. It is straightforward and it's fun. It also cranks in um, AoE in particular, but does pretty well in single target too. I've gotten, I think, some lucky loot drops on her, but, uh, and it was just a normal, so it's not like you're parsing or anything, but it was fun. I want to do keys on that hunter too, but I want to farm today because I think that farming streams sound fun. Alright, put me into something. I can actually heal. Often I'll queue up as healer just because that's what my add-on was set to, and then I will panic and just DPS it anyways because I was in a DPS spec because I happened to be running around in the, um, you know, like, questing or whatever. But this time, this time, I'm here to heal. Who needs me? Haven't touched WoW since I renewed my sub, like, three weeks ago. You've been busy. Got the Sable Dream Talent form off Ristar the Rabbit. Oh, very nice. Congratulations. Nice to not get forced into playing SV for Mythics, but also kind of miss SV. It's certainly playable. Um, it certainly, it certainly does things. It's just not, um... Not be a, can you count being sleepy busy? I count sleep as the primary form of busyness. <laughs> it's priority number one on most of my calendars. I I booked most of yesterday to stay in bed. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I did. Oh, I could have slept more this morning, but then I thought, you know what? Just get up and stream for a bit. It'll be it'll be fun. You'll you can you can mount farm. You can wear your comfy clothes as though you ever do anything else. And you can go back to bed after it's over. <laughs> I'm extremely spoiled. I've been doing this for too long. Sleep is a okay. Sleep is um is re rejuvenation. You get all your hots on yourself overnight. You need those. 
You need that time. Also, sometimes you have bizarre dreams, and those are always fun, too. Meow. Where have you gone? Mm, I suppose I should, like, press some of my buttons here. Finally got a mic that can be on my desk. Very nice, very nice. Can't do damage while moving, regardless of if I need to cast or not. Yeah, sometimes it's um sometimes it's a keybind thing, sometimes it's just like a like a bandwidth thing in in not in the game, but like in my head where if I'm trying to think about too many things at once, something's gonna suffer. And the answer to that one is usually for me just to play it more so that some of that stuff can get relegated to muscle memory because I don't have I don't have that much active brain to work with. Quitting smoking? Dreams you have from nicotine patches are wild. Oh man. I'm excited for you. Hydro Panic, thank you for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. What kind of headphones do you like to use? I have Bose Bluetooth headphones. I don't know if I'd like recommend them for gaming because they're um they're not um they're wireless and they're just on like standard issue Bluetooth. They're not on um any of the faster, more recent Bluetooth protocols, so they're um did I get right from that? No. Man! We're 13 to 1500. This is gonna drive me nuts. Do you get rep if it's a fully thing? Cause I, I, I do dropped that thing all the way up to, I do dropped that thing all the way up to 50. I did. <sighs> Got an automated response from Blizz Ticket said, we're too busy to reply to you. I have not experienced that specific one, but I have found in the last year that um, tickets are less than useless. <laughs> They are, like, I, I'm not the kind of person that tickets very much. I will usually either try to fix something myself or just give up on it and move on. And then, like, assume that eventually they're going to get to it with, like, a hotfix or something like that. But it was, um, it was back when my achievement was bugged for the Forbidden Reach thing. It was, there was just, like, a very specific bug where the achievement was supposed to pop because I did the thing and it just didn't. And I remember, I, we ticketed that. I wrote a ticket and a bug report, and the ticket basically just said, well, we don't know about that bug, so um, maybe write a bug report, and then if it is a bug, and then we fix it, then it'll be fixed. Goodbye. <laughs> like, they can't, do, they, do, they can't do anything anymore. They have dramatically different powers than they used to. I think they pretty much just have people on there to attempt to make you feel better with no tools with which to do so. Um, I, they, they can't do much. <sighs> Used to be helpful. Now it seems like they haven't even read it. I think it's just um, they're not being given the power and or the ability and or the time. Um, I think they're not being given the support that they need to actually help things. Um, so they're, I, I won't ticket anything really anymore. There doesn't seem to be any, <laughs> any case in which it's going to get you anywhere. Mm. Support doesn't fix bugs. All they can do is send your information. Yeah. And they, um, they used to be able to, like, kind of, sort of, do things, though. Like, they used to be able to, if you, if you did have a bug, there used to be cases in which you could submit a ticket and they would manually <laughs> fix something, like, for you specifically. I guess they, maybe the, the customer service agent wasn't doing that, but they used to be able to send it somewhere they could. Um, so I wanted to, to jack this thing all the way up to a hundred to see if that gives me some rep. This is gonna cost, actually, I don't know if I have enough for that. I don't think I do. We'll do the 50 and then we'll sit here because maybe I like, maybe there was some weirdness with the phasing when I joined the world boss group. Miss the mythical GM sightings. I had a dream last night where my middle school math teacher wouldn't let me eat lunch because I was wearing a ring. <laughs> that is pretty weird. Coffee good. First five seeds of the week. I just don't think I've gotten rep from my first five. And I have, there's some that I haven't gotten any rep from at all. I've got, I've looted seeds that were just five flight stones, two dust, three supplies, and no rep. So I feel like there's something I'm missing. I'm just gonna sit and watch this one and then see. Cause um, I don't, I don't believe I've gotten five seeds worth of 250 rep. Uh, I have played Stardew Valley. I've played a lot of Stardew Valley. There are a handful of games in my life that I've probably put over 200 hours into. And Stardew is one of them. Um, 
And usually it's like, you. I've either put like 10 hours into a game or I've put like a lot. There's not a ton of middle ground. Okay, that gave me 250 rep. That's so weird, but that'll work. That's that's all I wanted. I just wanted to finish that weekly. Happened to me too this week. Hmm. Dewdrops don't have anything to do with rep? I'm getting a lot of very conflicting information. <laughs> two hours or too many hours. Yeah. I love Stardew Valley. And I, I, I love it in that it's... I can play it over again. Like, I replay that game every now and then, whenever I need to. Usually if I'm, like, traveling or something, I'll start a save file on my on my iPad because I have it for, like, a couple of different platforms. I bought that game a few times. But I'll... um I also have it on Switch and then I also have it on my PC, of course. So, like... If I get, like, super, like, sick and I need to, like, just, like, sit on my couch and convalesce for a while, that's a good time for a Stardew play playthrough. Um, I always tell myself I'm going to play it differently this time, and I always do exactly the same thing, and I end up with, like, a cash-producing wine farm. Um, it's, <laughs> you know, you finish the community center, you always do it exactly the same. So I needed that helmet. That was a new transmog that I got, which is good. You also get another splintered spark if I ever decide to craft any more gear from 250 flight stones. That's nice. That was kind of worth doing it for. I don't know if he needs Drake's Crest anymore. Is it, does he need any more of those? Yeah, actually, he could use at least one for that. Let's uh, let's slam that last Drake's Crest thing. He's 465 too. My alts are surprisingly close to 470. It turns out if I play them, they they grow. How have I not gotten a better ring yet? <laughs> how how for what? Oh yeah, I have a one of eight belt too. My um. Should I do that? No, 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 no. Champion 4 of 8 over Veteran. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do this. We'll sink that in. Because he's got a reasonable amount of Flight Stones. We don't have any Worms Crests, really. Or not enough Worms Crests. If I really wanted to crank their gear, my Hunter and Druid, I would do a bunch of keys, I think. But I want to I wanna farm today, so... First things first. I need to try for the Holiday Drake thing. Because I have not done that yet today. Um, so that's a 500 rep token with the Dream Wardens. I think I'm going to sit on that just so I can do the weekly easier next week. <laughs> um, I need to do, I need to do that. So here, we're going to take him back to Veldraken just for now. <sighs> you replay the first part of the game, if I recall correctly. Well, what would you consider beating it? Do you do you do you need to like ship every single item and craft every single recipe and like like what do you consider that you beat it? Because I usually go through the DLC with the island and the banana boy too. Actually, I don't know if it was DLC. I think it was just a big patch. I think that Concerned Ape is <laughs> too nice to ask for more money. Um, I don't always marry the same person in that game. I often for a while, like my first handful of playthroughs, I always went for Harvey, but then I kind of mixed it up a bit. I'm going to log off and I'm going to take my horde character and I'm going to go try for the drake watcher the holiday holiday dragon we're trying for holiday dragon <laughs> rings have not been dropping for me get a thousand rep for the super bloom quest I think I did I think I did um I'm going to pick up this daily again and then head on off. What happened to your blood DK? Nothing happened. I just <laughs> moved on. I achieved my goal and then I put it down and then I went back to being a ranged slash healer because that's who I am. <sighs> Isn't Holiday Dragon from You're a Mean One? Yeah, I picked it up. <laughs> that's what we're doing. No worries. You could reach 100%. Those golden walnuts he asked her. <sighs> You're right, I usually put it down before I've completely 100%ed the game. Shame. I'm going vaguely this way. I always forget which direction it is, because I can't see it until I change zones. Getting to year four, having those grandpa cutscenes could count as an end. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What's the mount called? Didn't know there was one you could get. This one is the... What did they call this thing? This is the Wondrous Wave Whisker. They had it as a shop thing and a sub-promotion. I got it for having a 12-month sub. Fishy, fishy, fishy. I like this one. Mm. 
not too bad. Oh, the holiday mount that you're talking about. Oh, um, it is a customization for the Highland Drake that puts a little, puts some, some Christmassy stuff on it. I forget what it's actually called, but it's just, a, it's a Drake Watcher customization. Yeah. There is something fishy about the mount that you're riding. Um, uh, well, I can loot the treats, but I think I might have to wait for a respawn this time, because I think Metzen is gone. Hmm. <sighs> This is definitely faster to do on a Horde character, though. Super cute. Going for perfection. First time I've gotten enough to almost complete the community center. Get a greenhouse. First save is on year three. Nice. Magic art, cool mount. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you talk too much about it, you're gonna make me want to play Stardew Valley again. <laughs> oh, I'm having so much fun in WoW that it's hard for me to pick up other games. I, I have too many things that I want to do. Alts in WoW are too fun. And then it's hard for me to even put down my existing alts to start new ones, but I also want to start new ones, you know? Like, it's been really... It's been really good. I could do Heroic Amir Drasil this week on my Hunter or my Druid. <sighs> the big question is when. I feel like I mostly like doing that for the for the crests. Heroic Amir Drasil is like a really easy way to get Worms crests. But keys are an easy way to get Worms crests too. Oh, let me thank you for the 10 month reset. Don't starve. I'm feeling a minor don't starve itch, but don't starve is too hard for me. I'm not, I'm not good enough. I starve. <laughs> Actually, more accurately, I get, I die to enemies usually is what happens in that game. I think I need to do a, like a group server where there's not like where you can actually res. I know I talk all about hardcore and how much I like the permadeath and that, but I don't usually get very far and don't starve. I don't usually make it to the starving part. I stock up my freezer and then I get eaten by a hound. <laughs> I'm also not very good at the combat in that game. Don't starve is, um, the combat's always felt a bit clunky to me. And there's a way to kind of min-max it with stutter stepping so that you don't take very much damage. And I've never really got the hang of it. And I, I don't even think I want to. Have you tried eating? Have you tried Satisfactory? Satisfactory. I have, which one do I have actually? Let me look at my Steam library for a second. I, I bought one of the factory games on sale a million years ago. I haven't played either of them, so I guess I haven't tried Satisfactory. But I want to know if I bought that or did I buy Factorio? What did I what did I do here? What do I have? <laughs> I used to spend so much time on Steam. And I got my Steam year in review. And this past year on Steam, apparently I played a decent amount of Valheim, mostly in the summer. I played uh, a, a, like 20 minutes of Don't Starve one time when I turned it on. And then I played a bunch of muck. And that's it. That's my entire Steam year. I mostly just play WoW. But in 2023, that was it. It was Valheim, muck, and like 20 minutes of Don't Start. I have Insane Aquarium. Oh, that's a good game. Was that really not this year? Well, I don't have Factorio. Do I have Satisfactory? Did I have neither of them? I do have Satisfactory. I own Satisfactory. I've never played it but I purchased it at some point. I do own it. <sighs> oh, I wonder what's gonna have to happen for me to pick up that. Muck for game of the year. My first memory of Don't Starve is my friend wondering aloud. I'm curious if this evil looking tree will light on fire. <laughs> Have you ever played Bug Snacks? I don't think so. I played, um, there was another game about, I don't know if it's what that one's about. Oh no, I think I'm thinking of a different thing. I played Grounded, which I think is very different. Farming for the Mount Armor. I'm gonna try once for the Mount Armor. My, that's what I've been doing. One, one chance at it a day. <laughs> variety stream for Satisfactory. Uh, I think I should only, if I'm gonna variety stream, I think it needs to be games that I have at least some idea of how to play because I am a miserable learner on stream. <laughs> we all know this. I, I need to learn in the quiet of my own head. <laughs> um, with no voices. Should be Subnautica, if anything. Battlegrounds on stream. When are cooking streams coming back? When I finally cave and I take a meal prep sponsorship. <laughs> mm. Subnautica's terrifying. <sighs> I think I, Subnautica, I think, is another game that I bought but I haven't played yet. A loft is a game I'm keeping an eye on. I'm gonna try and shroud it as well. I want to know if Blizzard ever um, comes out with that survival title that they were talking about. <laughs> we as a community accept that Hazel does not like learning on stream. 
Dredge fun little game? Definitely recommend. Do I own some Nautica? Now that I have Steam open, I'm gonna look. Although I feel like the Grinch is gonna spawn any second now. Subnautica. I do own Subnautica. Oh, there he is. I also purchased that and once again have not played it. <laughs> My Steam library is a very strange collection of games in that it's kind of like an archive of the things that I was either interested in or convinced to purchase between the years of like 2010 and maybe like 2015, 2016-ish, um, when I kind of started playing mostly just WoW. And there was also a period of time in which I swear, no, no, no lie, that my account was hacked. Like I lost my Steam account for a while. And when I finally got it restored to me, it had a bunch of new titles. Um, like somebody had, somebody had taken it, but they had then bought a bunch of games on it. Not like, I didn't have a credit card on it. So like they didn't spend my money, but they just took my account. They bought a bunch of dating sims and and then they didn't play any of them and they played like 400 hours of Dota, which I think is the funniest thing ever. <laughs> so I also have a bunch of dating sims and then a bunch of hours on Dota that were definitely not me. <laughs> but Dota's free. They could have played Dota on their own account. <laughs> Probably love them. I haven't tried them. I might like them. You never know. Mm. <laughs> They're not the stream friendly kind of dating sims. I think they're, I don't think they're rated for Twitch. <sighs> I'm um, going back to Orgrimmar. I'm going to do that by virtue of, and all our online up. Average Steam user buys games, doesn't play them. <laughs> yeah, no, they're super NSFW. <laughs> yeah, those ones. <sighs> Downloaded DBM again, soft voice pack, voiced by you. That's me. I need to update it at some point, but it should work. It should work. Doki Doki Literature Club will always have a special place in my heart. <laughs> All right, is today the day to get the Drake skin? Could be. I could also like try 25 more times or however many characters I have, but nobody's got time for that. Not when we could be killing um, shark bait. Well, nope, not that time. <laughs> That's okay, I'm not too fast. Let's take, cause I feel like my horde, I, it's lucky that most of my characters are alliance because I feel like my horde characters would have kind of an ugly time going. Let's start here. I don't think I have the freehold port on this character because I didn't main this character in Dragonflight until this season. So I'm going to Brawlis. Only holiday item left for me is the Christmas tree toy. Doing any balance in Barnacles? Nope. <laughs> I killed the world boss in Resto. Hi, kitty cat. You coming back? Hi. How you doing? How are things? Tomorrow. Alright. Um. Uh, so, the thing I'm gonna do in Freehold. It's like once per week per character, right? To do a Mythic Zero run, which is, I think, the one that we need to do. My plan is to open up all the things when inside, and if I don't need any transmog from the first three bosses, then I can run right to the last boss, more or less. Um, I used to get like snapped back to the bridge sometimes, but I'm going to basically make an attempt to run to the last boss and then uh, just kill that. But if I need any transmog from the first three bosses on any of these characters, then of course I'm going to kill those first, because what if we get mog? You know, mog is the ultimate consolation prize in mount farming, and I shall not miss any opportunities for it. <sighs> I think Boralus to Freehold is much closer than Drustvar to Freehold. More efficient to farm Sharkbait by doing Murzon keys? No, <laughs> I don't think so. I have never seen that mount drop, and uh, Murzon keys would take quite a bit longer than a than a Freehold run, I think. Yeah, this is this is pretty close. I think this is not too bad. It's it's barely farther than um than where they used to stick you. Well, yeah, I guess it's a little farther.
seen it drop five times in under 20 runs. Holy, that's pretty, that's crazy. I've never seen it, and I've done quite a few of those. Interesting TV shows or movies you're watching. Hmm. <sighs> Not really. I watched, um, and I never remember what it's called. Life on Our Planet? Is the Steven Spielberg, Morgan Freeman nature doc about prehistory. Doc is a strong word. And it was interesting. It mostly just put me to sleep. It was very soothing to listen to. <laughs> got shark bait the first time I got the raids. Got the Baron Rivendare mount from the Quantum Mount thingy. Get in combat with the mods before the bridge, they'll port you. Yeah, that's usually what happens to me. I might have to just a little bit of extra trash but i'm not i'm not super against that i never did finish this achievement i've been like meaning to because it's a toy that i've like almost got the assault quest not two sober citizens brigade you need like the assault to be up in the area and then you need that specific quest to be up and then you have to like find the guy find flynn to recruit him but it wouldn't be that bad to do treasure chest what just in in like a place where? There? Can I just go loot it? I'm getting distracted. Gem of acquiescence. Submit to a creature from the void. I'm gonna go look at this. I don't think it's that easy, but if it is that easy, then I'm getting it. <laughs> uh, do you read WoW books? I've read a couple of them. Oh, I've super finished Million Dollar Decorators. I watched two seasons. The second season was not as fun as the first season. They were both fine. <sighs> Nothing will beat Martin getting hypnotized because he was very concerned about his addiction to chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Silently hoping you can get the magic rooster mount that way. That would surprise me a lot. I don't know specifically, but I think that it's about instant drop mounts. Um, and that one's like an old TCG mount. Did you have the Twitch drop mount already? I think I did. Um, I should double check. Oh no, I'm fatigued. I should not double check. Here, let's reset our fatigue thing. I'm pretty sure I do. It was like... Windsteed. Yeah, yeah, I have it. <laughs> it's categorized as a horse. I disagree. Maybe I should, like, jam of acquiescence. You know what I'm going to do is before I go diving and drown myself, I'm going to pull up Wowhead for a second and see if there's any other words about this that I might need to know. Gem. Acquiescence is a hard word to spell on the fly. Did I get it? I did! We still got it. Contained in. Unable to pick up. Oh, uh, never mind. You got to do blank. You gotta do scrolls. You gotta like cl click on scrolls around places. It's not just a chest. You have to do a thing. Never mind. <laughs> Moving on. Back to Borella or back to Freehold. <laughs> Million dollar decorators adjusted for inflation. <sighs> Is it almost Saturday today? It is almost Saturday. I haven't decided if I'm going to do a news video. If there was ever a week to take it off, it would probably be this week. I haven't looked, but I feel like the roadmap that they put out last week was pretty much the news we're getting for the rest of the year. Oy. Dungeon difficulty mythic. Very good, very good. I miss emissaries. Complete 04 world quest in blank zone. I liked that a lot. <laughs> Bring that back. Please. <laughs> Their event for New Year's and well? They do fireworks. Um they do fireworks. And 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 the city at like midnight realm time or whatever. I think that's about it. I don't remember there being much else. If there was, I've missed it. There's there's um Lunar Festival, but that's like in January. Okay. So, on a priest, the only thing I need is the mail. So I need to try and figure out if 
I can sneak. I'm gonna kill this guy. Watch Maybe this feet. pack, just to just to make them go away. Watch your feet. So that they don't snap me back across the bridge. Oh, it's the other bridge I'm worried about. Oh well, <laughs> that's fine too. Advertise your year-end Nautica variety stream. Ah, uh, that, yeah. <sighs> it would be a good opportunity to advertise something, but I don't really have anything that I'd like to advertise. <laughs> and then we're gonna scooch along this way. And see if we can just kind of curve around this corner. Yeah, that should be fine. There we go. I got some Fox Hollow leggings of the Quick Blade. I don't have that item ID. Oh, I've used my trinket. <laughs> Oops. What is your most elusive mount? Mine is the Blazing Drake. Um, what is my most elusive mount? Oh, you know what I need to do is I need to make sure I have rarity on before I do this. Defensive. Shot lady. I don't know. <laughs> In my head, the only words I have are, I just farm mounts until they drop, but that's um, not very helpful. And also not a good answer. Some of them took a long time, like Midnight from Legion Karazhan took a very long time. Yeah, we, used, we did variety streams for a little bit. I mostly, they were fun when I was like excited about playing other games, but whenever I just wanted to play WoW, I just wanted to play WoW, and then it was too easy to come back to just playing WoW, because the WoW streams always did better. Phase two. By a large margin. Phase two. And I like streaming for fun, but I also like streaming for work. I'm... Um... No luck from there. So I think, I guess I can go back. I'm not leaving this character here. I could leave my other alts here, but this one's gonna need to go home. Does it? So I made sure that rarity was on. Does it give me a little counter? I want a rarity counter for how many attempts I have on Sharkbait. 754 attempts at King's Rest. Oh! One you're waiting on the most. The one that, the mount that I'm waiting on the most. I feel a little bit dumb, I don't understand. <laughs> <sighs> the months of weekly midnight farms. Towards the end of it, I was I was like, you know what? We've got to expand this past just the one mount farm day a week because I had so many characters I couldn't do them all in one like three hour stream. Slash yeah. rarity. Mm. Shark bait. Meow. So it says that I have. 59 attempts. Certainly I have more than that. Or current attempts, 58. I certainly have more than that. But I just haven't really had rarity on. I wonder if I turn it on for my loading screen. Like from this screen. If it'll actually turn on for everybody. Oh. I doubt it, but it's worth a try. I think you've entered a teleport cloak. That's probably true. <sighs> soundless? Yeah, but I'm not really... I don't know if I plan to get soundless. <laughs> if I run out of other things to do, maybe. Remember Gul'dan Saturdays? Yeah. That, that can't have been that long ago, right? I feel like we got Gul'dan's events pretty recently. I'll need to be in balance for this one, I think. What do you think of them keeping adding land mounts when it seems we're going to start with dynamic flying each expansion? I mean, you still need land mounts in some areas of the game. Battlegrounds, dungeons, the occasional indoor raid instance where you can mount but not fly. It's not that they're... At, like, leveling is another good example. They're not for nothing. I think it's fine for them to keep adding more. I would be sad if they never added another land mount, I think. Uh, Burrell is okay. I don't have a Rachnoid and Rest Feather. Those are, those are mounts that I need to get still, too. I just don't feel like I can say I've really been, like, grinding them because I haven't been. <laughs> I've taken years off of those farms, so it makes lots of sense that I don't have them because I haven't been trying. I didn't, I just, I didn't put in my best effort. Do 
Do you use all the things to track dragon writing appearances? That, and then I don't think I have it anymore, but there was an add-on called like Manuscript Journal that was really good that added like a collections tab for them. That was a really good one. But I don't really collect um, Drake appearances. If, if I get them, then that's great. Um, and if there's something that looks kind of cool, I might try for it, but I'm not trying to 100% them or anything. I am happy to not get all of them. I felt the same way about Soul Shapes. The Rusty Spider Haunts by Dreams. There are still so many people how, how many years has it been since they put that out? There are still so many people that sit there and and farm that. Like, every time I go to try to get that, you are never alone there. Even Rust Feather seems quieter than Arachnid Harvester now. Wish a lot more Grandmans could also fly. Mm -hmm. I feel the same way. Dungeon difficulty. Mythic. And then let's just make sure he's got his rarity on. Should do. Yeah, it should do. Not about to do dynamic flight with the Tangled Dreamweaver. Is it not on the list? It's kind of surprising, right? Yeah, Cash, I don't know. Hippo Mount soaring the heavens. Other games have done it, certainly. Wonder if they'll prioritize Legion classmates for dynamic flying. <sighs> I guess I'm not really picky about which ones they do. I just want them to do more, and I want them to do lots of them that aren't necessarily dragons. Um, I want birds. <laughs> I want shark bait. Ooh ha ha. Do I need any Mog? Nope. Actually, well, I need a couple of pieces from Harlan, apparently, on this character, but... Um, nothing from the earlier bosses, so I can go straight there. A Sparkle Kitty Mage Tower forms. Sparkle Kitty. I don't know. Where's our duck mount? Blizzard! <laughs> Broom should be dynamic too. Bats! <sighs> yeah, I'm just hoping they get to they get to lots of them. I'm excited for 1025. I feel like we're not super far off. Want another beer mount. Why am I stealthing all the way across this bridge? For what? <laughs> for who? I haven't made it this far. Asking if you did the Feral Challenge in Legion. Uh, probably not. I don't think so. I did, um... I did... I definitely did Resto, and I definitely did Guardian. Oh. I'm terrible at balance. I have plenty of gear, too. It's just, it's just me not knowing what anything does. Alright, that was just... Don't get too excited. It was just achievements we're doing freehold. Oh, it looked exciting for a second. And then, yeah, he's probably going back home. If I just logged out here on these characters, they would probably get ported outside the instance eventually. If I was going to farm it again on them next week. <laughs> When's Dynamics Women coming? Uh, I actually don't remember if I did Guardian Druid and Legion. I might have done. It's a long time ago. Hmm. Yeah, Sharkmaid is weekly, but then also per character. Hmm. So if you got lots of vaults, you get lots of chances. Although, eventually we are going to hit instance cap. Okay. I put her back into her everyday clothes transmug. I love it a lot. Yeah, 468. I'm almost 470 in this hunter. I'm so happy about it. Do I still have any details? 
Yeah, that was our, uh, was that Farak? Yeah, I got number one in our alt, our, our alt kill for Farak. I'm happy about that. It's not like a crazy number, but it's pretty good for my alt. I'm pleased. I'm going, I'm going to Borellis. It's just funny how dramatically less sweaty it is to play BM Hunter than to try to do it on anything else. <sighs> Remember you needed the new Mage Tower Guardian challenge? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't stream it, but I posted the VOD later. <laughs> I stealth posted the VOD. It had been so long by the time I actually got around to posting that video that I was too embarrassed to like put it up properly so I put it up unlisted and then just added it to the playlist so anybody that really wanted to see it could find it but that it wouldn't like get pushed to people's sub feeds because it was so late that it was ridiculous. <sighs> Cupcake Chaos back with uh, converting a sub. I think I missed a bunch of subs too. That yesterday, yesterday, yesterday. Oh no, we're good, we're good. We had pickles and hydro panicked. You were just done with it, wanted to get out. I think part of that was that I wasn't streaming. <laughs> that recording was just me at, in like the middle of the night. It was like almost midnight in my 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 living room because I had just moved. <laughs> what is your favorite tree? Mmm, pine trees with the big line needles. I like those a lot. Jack pine trees. 82 parts, 91 item level. I'll take it. I would have guessed birch. I went through a, bu a couple of different ones. I Birch came up. Arbutus trees came up. I love Arbutus trees. They're gorgeous. Maple trees, obviously. Japanese maple trees. I like, um, I like having potted shrubs and small trees on my on my um, my balcony i'm hoping that when i move I, I have enough of a balcony or patio to continue to keep those because i like them a lot fond of aspens does that extend to furniture made from them uh, i like wooden furniture but i don't like it enough to know what kind of wood went into any given piece i'm not a i'm not a hardwood softwood connoisseur i just like natural natural textures and finishes on stuff <sighs> Allergic to birches, but I love them dearly. Deep cleaning the house, so you guys are hanging out with me in the background. Oh, nice. Mm. Thanks, Cupcake Chaos. I actually got a bunch of cleaning done yesterday. I didn't really set out to. The trick for me doing a bunch of stuff like that is I can't really plan it. I just have to kind of get into doing mode and then keep doing things. <laughs> with no planning at all. If you think about it, you get freaked out and then you stop. Um, it's kind of like this weird brain blindness where you just like, you see something and you're like, oh yes, I was going to move my laundry. You know what? This dish rack needs scrubbing, etc, etc, etc. Dungeon difficulty mythic. Off we go. Do you partake on the ancient plant mom tradition of propagating? <sighs> Sometimes I will take cuttings of my plants because they get too big and then I will stick them in my aquarium like out of the back of the aquarium um, to grow roots and also just to kind of be part of my aquarium ecosystem. But I very rarely will then pot them back into dirt um, because I usually have more plants than I need. So <laughs> if I propagate, then I'm going to have double more plants than I need. Watch your feet. <sighs> Although I did um, one of my plants, apparently the place it's hanging is above a heater and now that it's winter and the heater's been on i noticed it and it's like super dead so rest in rest in peace that one whatever it was yeah i got a bunch of spider plants there's a ton of them in the back of the aquarium and then i've got two more in big pots in my living room i am aggroing everything <laughs> occasionally scrub the life out of my counter because i feel i need to there's something deeply satisfying about moving everything off of your counter like moving the toaster and the coffee maker and whatever else you keep on your counter and and um, and then like actually like wiping it down and making sure you get every crumb off of it like you just moved in because and like giving it a really good scrub because if you don't stuff like <laughs> builds up back there. 
Uh, I don't bleach them necessarily. I do use bleach occasionally in cleaning, but not if I can avoid it because of the fumes. <laughs> we have ventilation, but it's not great. Enrage. I mostly would use bleach to clean Shockwave. my fish cleaning and tools because that would ensure that they wouldn't get smelly. Enrage. So after I'd been fishing, I would take like my fish knife and my fish other tools that I would use to clean and process fish and I would put them in the sink and I would bleach them and scrub them really good and that way my fishing bag does not smell evil. <laughs> what mountain are we farming? Shark bait! Ooh -ha -ha. Phase two, phase three. No. No luck that time. I'm probably gonna play these characters. Well, yeah, I wanna do more on my hunter this week. Tally made the point that BFA was a great experience brought down by one of the worst systems they ever made as a headliner expansion feature. Yeah, I would agree with that. <laughs> that seems fair. I think you could say the exact same thing about Shadowlands. I think that Shadowlands without Covenants would have been brilliant. Um, or without, like, Covenant locking and whatnot. But, you know, they gotta make mistakes to learn things or something. So this character could do it, but it's, like, really annoying to get there as Horde. But if I never figure out how to do it, especially Horde that, like, haven't been to BFA. But if I never figure out how to do it, then I'm never going to get anywhere. So I think that what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take the time waste port to Drustvar and fly. Just because otherwise I don't think I have a faster way for my Horde characters to get to, um, to Freehold. Gaijinzen, thank you very, very much for the bits. Hmm. Now that that's gone, we go back basically every patch. BFA just hits hard. <laughs> the sound the fish makes. You like it? <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> it's, so, it's so strange and random is what it is. <sighs> I've, I've met a variety of fish in my life and not once has any of them ever said, me, 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 me. <laughs> but then again, I haven't stuck my head in the aquarium to listen. So maybe that's on me. Yeah, I, I love Borellis too. It's my favorite city. There's so much life in it. I love all of the corners of Borellis that you don't necessarily go to all the time for any particular purpose, but are just there to like add life to the city. I love wandering around those places and just hanging out in them whenever I need to have the game open, but not like actually play. It's just a great place to hang out. I feel like I can smell tear guard sound, you know? I feel like the wind would be really refreshing. It feels like there would be like a good strong breeze. And it would just make you remember that you were at, you know, by the sea. It would be great. Drustvar. 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 Keep the wind on your sails. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I'm not going to Waycrest Manor. You can't make me. It's not where we're going at all. I want to ride a different map. I like that map a lot, but I... What else do we have? Twilight Avenger. Oh, it's Drake. Yeah. Infinite Time Raver. There we go. That'll get the people going. <laughs> I feel like I'm cheating. Like I'm using this to get some collector cred. And I didn't even grind for it. I just got, I just got dumb lucky. Ah, the infinite time waster. <laughs> Don't take me boat from the Horde City and BFA. Take you closer. Maybe if you had unlocked the Horde City and BFA. I don't know. Maybe the port would take you there without you having to do any of it. How do you get this mount? Ho ho ho! It is a infinitesimally small chance to drop from any time walking boss. So doing time walking dungeons, time walking raids. Um, maybe even the cash. It's, uh, it's, it's just a very small chance to drop from all of those things. <laughs> but it's such a small chance to drop that people spend years of their lives, um, grinding and never see it. Like, they'll never even see it drop for anybody else in any of the groups either. 
got mine from a quantum courser, feels good. That might actually be a better way to farm this one. <sighs> as long as you don't have the intro quest for another expansion, yeah. It's just, this seems, at least this shortcut I know is straightforward. I know I don't have to worry about any of that stuff. It'll take a while, but we just, you know, we can bond with this. Dropping at a higher rate from the raids now. Mm. That's something then. I've heard a lot of people have been getting um, mounts from the time walking caches, like the not the this mount, but the Mim's head and invincible and stuff. Got it too, but I think it's Loki ugly. Um, it has a lot of neck. It's a little bit like a sausage. <laughs> It's kind of in a wonky place where it's basically like a nether drake face. But then with a bunch of armor on it. It's a pretty old mount model. It's been around for a long time. <laughs> Wilbur Forks, thank you very much for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. A little bit too much like the dragon noodles. He just has gains. <laughs> He's got some spikes. I never noticed how much his face looked like a nether drake before. I always assumed it was more like something else. His wings are pretty. I've also got, um, uh, my shadow form shouldn't affect my mount, actually. I don't have the glyph to make it do that. Welcome back, kitty cat. Man. <laughs> got the flying disc from Tazavish. Love that dungeon. Nice. I still don't have that one. Do you choose to think on the bear? Do you choose to think of the bear in your shirt as a ghost or a spirit? A uh, spirit for sure. Because he's like in the northern lights, and there's actual bears here. Although a spirit and a ghost was kind of semantics. <laughs> I think that's cultural semantics. I like to think of it as spirit in, like, the deity sense and not as in the ghost sense. Benevolent bear. As benevolent as any bear is. <laughs> I don't know if animals are really prone to benevolence. <laughs> Kitty snuggled with me on the couch last night. A I mean, animals with the exception of um, mine. As a Pisces, I must have that fish mount. I wonder why I have it keybound as my undead shadow priest mount. I feel like I have other mounts that would make a much more thematic fit. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oops. That's what happens if you uh, aggro stuff and you don't kill it, is they snap you back. But, you know, sometimes you get BOE drops. Lucid Nightmare would fit her. How do you get your cat to not smack things in your screen? Oh. Um, she used to do that, but she's blind now. <laughs> she can't see it anymore. Mm. Yeah, locking your PC sounds like a sounds like a good solution. <laughs> don't feel bad. It was just, don't feel bad at all. She does fine. She used to um, tap lightning shield whenever um, whenever I was playing a shaman and I had like a lightning shield up. She used to follow the model of my shaman around on the screen and then like try to slap the lightning shield. She liked that a lot. She looks happy. I think so. Kitty loves dragon riding mounts. She would press lightning shield more than you would. Yeah. Moose loves watching nature documentaries. I don't know if he loves it or if he's just like really interested, but like if there's animals making animal noises, he will track them on the screen and he'll what what like come right up to it and then watch with both of his ears up like he's super interested. And uh and occasionally, you know, if it gets too much then you can have to pause it otherwise he's going to get himself so worked up that he might woof. <sighs> she can go back cuz she's going to need to do um 
she's gonna need to do. Isn't that a cool horse? Toma Town Portal. Although she looks kind of concerned. <laughs> Shadow Way, we try to dot and spam Mind Blast? Sort of. Yeah. <laughs> A very basic sense of, sense of it. Yeah, it's basically the gist of it, I think. I haven't been a shadow main for a long time. Moose also likes to when the TV is off. Not so much now. He did this more when he was a puppy, but every now and then he'll catch the sight of his shadowy reflection in the turned off TV screen, and he'll notice that it looks like a dog, and he'll kind of like cock his head at it, and then like go woof. And then of course, he, you know. <laughs> He's very suspicious of the TV dog. But he's made friends with the mirror dog. There's also a big mirror in that room. And he'll jump up on the chair so he can get a good look at himself. And he'll just kind of like look at the mirror dog and then he'll like give it a, a lick. Like he'll lick the mirror. <laughs> um, to offer a somewhat submissive greeting to the dog in the mirror. So he likes that one. <laughs> dog did that with a reflection in the oven. What did Moose get for Christmas? He got some special treats and he got two toys that I still need to repair before I can give back to him because he immediately um, caused critical damage. <laughs> he's a he's a he's a chomper. He's a he's a chomper of a dog. Hmm. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. See you later, Chris. I also like Mirror Cash. I've made my peace with Mirror Hazel. I'm looking to go to Boralus, that's right. Although, oh no, it's my evoker that would have the port. I think my cat thinks the television is a portal and she's guarding it so that no creatures come out. Not a lot of toys can withstand the onslaught of a hundred pound dog. He is not a hundred pounds. He might be getting close to pushing 50 though. <laughs> he's not even the biggest puppy we know. He's He's got a puppy friend that lives not too far away that is around his age, maybe a tiny bit younger than him, but is some form of like, I don't know, golden, like white golden Pyrenees, some big white fluffy thing. It doesn't really look Pyrenees to me, but um, anyways, that puppy is enormous. <laughs> That's gonna be like a 100, 120 pound dog. Yeah, this is a Kyrian mount. He's, this is a big puppy, but he's not the biggest puppy in town. Ugh. Um. What expansion would you recommend a new player start in? Hmm. I don't know. What do you guys think? It doesn't really... I feel like you could do fine in any of them. They do... They put you in BFA by default. That's not a bad place to start. I usually go Cataclysm and then I start in the old-fashioned zones because they're pretty simple. Legion. When I worked for PetSmart, we had people bring back toys for refunds that their dogs destroyed because they only lasted a few minutes. Did that work? <laughs> I feel like that's kind of... Like... <laughs> not... I mean, no, not me defending big court, but I feel like that's kind of not the responsibility of PetSmart. <laughs> yeah? Oh my goodness. I've been I've been losing money. Shadowlands feels quite fast. Make no sense to new player story-wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do cat it too. Chompers above his weight class could destroy almost any toy. Moose has got a really good technique in that if he wants to destroy something, he's figured out how to like wedge it between his molders and then like pulse them. Um, he's figured out how to kind of grind things to make rips and then he'll get in there with his front nippers and then he'll hold it down with his paws and he'll pull at different angles. Like he's not just chewing, he is, he is a tactical toy destroyer. <laughs> I had to... Um, withdraw and then dispose of one of those knotted rope toys because he had completely shredded it <laughs> um, to the point that he was starting to take pieces off of it. And that's that was like a like a like one of those like big heavy duty nylon rope toys. <sighs> I'm trying to get him to chew on like his rubberier toys because I feel like he won't be able to get through those, but he doesn't like it as much because he can't get through those. He wants to destroy. <laughs> Sharkbait farming, gotten one quantum courser. That's the mount I got for a bit. I've yet to see a Quantum Courser drop. Maybe if I get Shark Bait. And then I need to see a list of the mounts the Quantum Courser can drop because I feel like I have most of them. 
but I'm definitely missing this one and the King's Rest Mount. So if I get this one and drop the Old Fashioned Way, then maybe I can maybe I can uh, brute force a quant or a, a King's Rest Mount out of the Quantum Courser because I don't want to farm King's Rest. I can't be bothered to lock out lock out share. Potential first time cat owner, you guys have any advice? Oh sure, yeah. Mm, what do I tell people for kitty cats? My two big pieces of advice is number one is to do some research about cat body language and communication so that you can understand what your cat's trying to tell you because that goes a long way towards building a good relationship with them. Being able to tell when they're trying to assert a boundary so you can respect it, that kind of thing. And then my other piece of advice, and I also double this for puppies, is brush their teeth <laughs> and get them used to it at a very as early as you possibly can in, in small steps with like the pet toothpaste that tastes like the yummy things they like. Um, you will save them a lot of pain and a lot of, and you'll save yourself a lot of money um, in dental surgery down the road if you can get into a habit of doing their teeth every night. Works good for good for puppies, good for kitties, <laughs> good for people. Um, but there, that's that's my other thing. There's a million pieces of advice, and I'm sure you're gonna read all of it online in the course of course of doing your research. But have fun, take lots of pictures. Enjoy. But yeah, if I could go back in time, I would um, I would have been brushing Kira's teeth from the beginning. I brush her teeth now, and since her dental surgery, her teeth have maintained decent health. Um, but she would still have all of her teeth if I had brushed them from the, from the get-go. We could have saved her a lot of effort, and we could have saved me a couple thousand dollars <laughs> of um, dental surgery for cats. All right, there we go. Mm -hmm. mm. Lucy's mouth is so big now that his puppy toothbrush kind of doesn't reach to the back anymore, so I think I might need to get him just like a person toothbrush. <laughs> I don't think I did set it to Mythic now that you mentioned it. I got a bunch of transmog that I didn't have. Let's leave and change the difficulty, because I think I can probably do that correctly. Oops. Dogs and cats prone to bad teeth. It's mostly the... I think it has something to do with the diet that we feed them, or the lifespan that they get when they're kept with us, but um, it is extremely common, like very 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 common for household pets to have teeth that are that become so bad in their lifetime that they need surgical removal um in 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 their life it happens a lot <sighs> it's just like if you imagine that if you like never ever ever brush your teeth even if you have genetically good teeth you're probably still gonna have some problems uh, and the doorway is over here? Question mark? Is the doorway over here? It's got Captain Craig? Yeah, this... I'm, I'm so turned around and backwards. I think the doorway's this way. <laughs> yeah, common in humans as well. Dental hygiene, important. I'm all for it. I'm a big fan. There's the door. But, um... Doing it in baby steps and getting them used to it incrementally, um, and then using the pet toothpaste that tastes like whatever their favorite thing is. They make this toothpaste that tastes like they've got like a beef flavor, they've got a chicken flavor, and both my cat and my dog are like stoked for toothbrushing time every night because they're like, oh yeah, I get that chicken stuff, because <laughs> that's the that's the flavor that they have decided upon, or that Katie decided upon, and the moose has concurred with. Um, they don't they don't mind at all. It doesn't take very long. <sighs> Moosey gets so happy. He like comes and sits by the bathroom, and then when it's his time, he's like, "Till, mm -hmm. all right, mom, it's my turn." <laughs> all right, dungeon difficulty, mythic. I want beef flavored toothpaste for myself. Yeah, the pet toothpaste is also an enzyme thing. So my understanding is that is that it will, you know, like the brushing is important, but the toothpaste also has some kind of enzyme-based reaction that can help clean your pet's teeth on its own. So you do want to do your best job brushing, but even just having some in their mouth um, will do some amount of help. Unfortunately for Moose, they don't make dirt flavor. <sighs> Am I? I'm not in normal. I'm in mythic now. There we go. Three dogs, teeth as white as snow. Never brush teeth, get raw food. Mm. Saliva has enzymes. I may not thank you for the three month reso. Hmm. Lucy's getting his back molars are starting to come in now as his jaw makes room for them. 
I kind of thought he had all his teeth already, but I guess they wouldn't fit <laughs> before. Moose isn't a huge fan of the nail clipping, but he'll let me do it now because, um, because I've had it, I've had him from from little baby puppies, so I've been able to kind of do steps of getting used to paw handling, and also um, I I bribe <laughs> I bribe the heck out of him. <laughs> I am not above bribery. It is much easier to do care tasks with that dog if you give him something to eat first. Um, so you can, I found that you can freeze a licky mat with like something that he would like to lick on it um and then uh and then he'll work on that and then you can kind of do whatever to him <laughs> any luck no i've gotten a lot of those dice <laughs> i feel like um back when this dungeon was current mythic plus that was a like a, a specifically difficult thing to get and now i've gotten nothing but dice yeah i bribe him no shame it's a great idea, I recommend it. That works similarly for Kira too. Kitty Cat, um, Kitty Cat's bribes work differently in that she gets her treats after I've clipped her nails. Um, I got her used to it as a little kitty, but I would, I would handle her paw and then I would give her a treat. And then next time I would like handle a paw and like push out some nails, then I would give her a treat. And then I would pick her up and then, you know, just again, the incremental steps. But now basically I'll just pick her up stick her like a baby in my elbow and she knows that she, like she doesn't love it but you know I'll talk to her and be like all right one more one more claw just a minute hang on you're almost done and then she knows that when that's over if she puts up with it she gets like a couple of treats um so she she doesn't have to be eating while the paws are being clipped with her but she'll uh, she knows she gets them afterwards because we've done that that's the same thing with her toothbrushing she she gets greenies after she gets her teeth brushed <sighs> Mosey doesn't eat anything because he just loves the toothpaste that much um, this is gonna be annoying. I'm just gonna fly from Dressbar again. Subscribe to Cat Adoption Team's Facebook. They have some pretty cute tabbies right now. That's where Kira's from. The one thing that helped me get um, a toothbrush into Kira's mouth at first was by doing it from behind her head and not in front. Going at it front on was no good. Um, getting behind and then using my fingers at first with like a little bit of toothpaste on one of them to just kind of gently pull her lips back from the front was much easier at first. Um, I usually brush her teeth like that. I'll kind of get behind her head and then I'll kind of get the toothbrush in that way. And then once it's in, I can like scrub real quick. She also only has like four teeth left, so it doesn't take as long to brush them because there's not that many. But the um, the angle change really helped me. I learned about that on, I was like Googling, <laughs> I was Googling cat toothbrushing tips because I was struggling when I first started trying to do it. Um, especially because I didn't get her used to toothbrushing at a young age. We never did that when she was a kitten. So I, um, I was watching like vet YouTube videos and that was one of the tips they had. I got shark bait from the mega dungeon yesterday. Very nice. Hmm. I'm going the right way. Vaguely. This is quite a flight. I like this mail. Oh, make sure to keep going. This will be faster once we get. I want um, I want dynamic flight. Soon, soon. Had to stop watching. Foster cat decided to be aggressive. Too emotional for their own good. I used to think that I would one day live in a house with like a bunch of dogs and cats, and I'm starting to think that maybe one dog and one cat is kind of like my <laughs> my set point. It's kind of kind of what I can handle and what I can manage, especially if there's like something going on with one or both of them. I don't even have any human kids. I don't know how people with with actual children deal with their lives, but like, you know, when both of them need food and one of them needs to go out and the other one's like, I don't know, <laughs> throwing up and the puppy's getting into something. Sometimes there's just a lot going on. Why live in a house with animals when you could just move into the zoo? What if you live in a house with a couple animals and then you go visit the zoo sometimes? 
Uh, shark bait is a mount from Mythic Freehold. Raid dif dungeon difficulty mythic. There we go. Since covered, they remove the NPC, ports you to Stormheim, never performing that again. Mm -hmm. Great investment I ever made was a doggy door. Never have to get a letter out again. Total game changer. 25 of my family asks when I'm having kids. Say, how about a dog and a cat? Mm. Yeah, when I grow up, I would like to be able to take really good care of me. <laughs> I want to be a good parent to myself. That's just going to have to be enough. And of course, my baby, my baby boy. I had a dream last night that I was traveling and that I missed him so much that I was going to like text my partner who had apparently stayed back with the dog in the dream to like get videos of him. But then I was like, you know what? I have to go see him. I need, <laughs> I need to visit Moose. And in the dream, I like traveled overnight to come back and like cuddle with the puppy and then go back. I was gonna, I was just gonna go back and forth so I could see the doggy more often. I grew up and had six cats and four dogs. <sighs> Remember when I wanted chickens? Whatever made me think I had enough. I mean, maybe one day in my life I'll have like more, I don't know, organizational energy. I'll be able to do more things. I'll be a higher degree degree of functional, but like whatever made me think I could keep up with chickens. I still kind of love them. <laughs> maybe one day I'll talk myself into this again, but right now I'm feeling like a... I vacuumed my place yesterday and I tried to like move everything and do a really thorough job. And after I was done, I was like, that looks great. I'm tired. This is only like 700 square feet. I can't imagine having like an actual real house and then doing all of this with more animals. It would just be madness. Um, freehold. Why am I, why am I struggling so much? It's down another level maybe? This is not hard. There it is. <laughs> this is not a mystery. This is not supposed to be the difficult part. Cat cam, dog cam, chicken cam, my cam, each corner. <laughs> yeah. If I do do chickens, that might be like a, <laughs> a much later in life project, because I, I know I want to stay on the island, and I know that short of lottery winnings or some kind of personality transfer, I am unlikely to be able to afford a place that could support chickens. It's just not in this real estate market. Hard to have children, especially right now, money-wise. Mm -hmm. um, the goats thing, I feel like other people kept suggesting goats to me and I would say goats are fine. I, I'm not against goats. Oh, I need transmog from this stuff. I need mog. This is going to take a minute, but I want the transmog. I, I live on an island in the same way that, like, people in England live on an island. <laughs> it's, like, technically correct. Uh, I live on Vancouver Island. It's very large. I was the one who kept pushing for goats because I love them. <laughs> Uh, fostering cats. I don't think I have the personality to foster anything. I would keep all of them. I would want to keep all of them. I get hopelessly in love with every animal that enters my home. Um, if there's, if I, if it's staying with me and I'm looking after it, I'm going to be devastated when I am separated from them. It's just, I get, I get instantly super attached. If you think about it, aren't all the continents just really big islands? Mm -hmm. yeah, maybe later in life if I... Again, my personality changed, which isn't like not, it, which is a thing that can happen. It's pretty normal for people to change over time, especially through different decades of their lives. Um, but, uh, yeah. Does that include spiders or wasps? I have a truce with the spiders. I, um, I try to, I don't like killing them. 
it kind of depends on how big they are and whether or not they're out outside of their normal hours. But usually it'll just be me with like a cup and a card being like, Sir, excuse me, ma'am. <laughs> Can you come with me, please? You're not allowed to be here. music slaps. It does. This is a great Mythic Plus dungeon. You want to go swashbuckling. Is that like a leisure activity that's available in Europe? You can just like take some friends and go out to the country for a weekend and go swashbuckling? I suppose you could do like LARPing. You could you could LARP as swashbucklers. Bella Foxy Gobble, thank you for the 35 month reset. Merry Christmas, Hazel. Merry Christmas. I feel like LARPing as a swashbuckler would be incredibly fun. <laughs> Aw man, I didn't even get any of the Dranzmog I needed. I'm here farming for the mount, but I'm not above um, killing a boss or two to try to get to try to get a Mog piece if there's something that I need. And apparently there's a bunch of stuff that I need. Excuse me. I might go back and do Sky Captain Crag too. Move, run. <sighs> danger, danger. Watch your step. I clearly have no Change real target. idea how to do any damage. There we go. Uh, what's the weapon mog? I have... Oh, it's just the incandescent soul cleaver. I didn't mog it. <laughs> that's, uh, that's from the Amir Drasil. Smolderon, I think. Smolderon sword. Let's see. Thank you. Wow! That shoots right here. She keeps, I think she's trying to get me to go somewhere. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go back for the last boss at some point. Fear not, I just- I need to try for a shark bait harness girdle. <laughs> it's a belt. Plate mog that I don't have. <sighs> I should have checked this earlier, clearly. Plus, you know, it's a chance to play a little bit of- a little bit of scary. Trying to remember what on earth it was that I was doing on my blood DK when I blood DK'd for two weeks. Watch your step. Good looking belt. Shockwave. Shockwave. You know, Shock I don't wave. even mock play characters, but like, if I did, maybe I would want more mock. Phase two. Interrupt. So it's all about the death rate. Any luck? No. Oh well. How much damage does my trinket do? Uh, is it an on use or is it a proc? It's an on use. Watch your step. Uh, so I haven't used it yet. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll use it for, uh, maybe I'll use it in the last boss. I got that trinket out of vault and I didn't do a single other activity on this death knight after that. That was like the last thing I did in this death night before she retired. It was open the vault and take that ray chart. Do you think War Within will release in August? I don't know. I have um I have no useful speculation. I haven't really thought about it. Uh, I know they had vague seasons on their roadmap. I'd be inclined to believe those. If they think they can do it, they probably can. They've been able to crank stuff out lately. It feels like they've got it down a, a bit, not formulaic, but they've kind of got the whole process down to a science now. <sighs> September 24th. Calling it. Hmm, how specific. Maybe. What if they do it on September 8th for my birthday? <laughs> Hazel turns 32 and then the War Within comes out. I wouldn't say no. Although I might say no. <laughs> I like relaxing my birthday. Defensive. Shockwave. Shockwave. 
apparently 20 years and they already stick to self-imposed plans. I know, right? Listen, if they can change, there's hope for the <laughs> there's hope for the rest of us. Phase three. No luck. No luck at all. That's all right. It feels good to be farming again. Does anybody want those kind of BOEs? They're cool looking. Kind of. They go for anything? No, no, they do not. <laughs> Never mind! Vendor! Vendor, 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 vendor. Vendor, 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 vendor. Oh, I forgot to use the trinket. Oh, well. <sighs> you have to admit, death grip, great ability. Get over here! Um, Buying War Within will cover you for the duration of the War Within. So you don't have to pay for the patch releases in it. Um, but whenever Midnight comes out, you'll have to buy that again. It seems like a two-year expansion cycle is, is more or less going to be the thing, though. All right, now this character can actually scoot over there. She can get there in a hurry. I guess if I'm worried about instance lockout, then getting there super fast isn't necessarily to my benefit. Yeah, basically saying the same, exactly. Mm. Less like 24 months, more like 20? Yeah, I was gonna post some. Oh no, I was gonna post this next week. So this character should technically have a portal. Hero's Path for BFA. Rehold. That's the one. This is my season one and season two main. Hoping for a long season four. I want a shot at the purple glad map. Want War Within to be good and ready when it's released. <laughs> Remember when they delayed Shadowlands? And then it came out and it was still a mess. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it was less of a mess than it would have been had they put it out in its, like, on its original release schedule. But I remember, like, the drama that it caused when they pushed it back. She need anything? She doesn't even have um, all the things turned on, does she? That expansion was just cursed. <sighs> so do we think that next season, or pardon me, next expansion, we're going to start seeing Shadowlands dungeons creep back into the Mythic Plus rotation? It'll have been long enough. Remember the Jailer's nipples? Not like specifically. <laughs> I still need the Necrotic Wake Mail. I thought they were kind of neat dungeons. Just got home? <laughs> what have I missed? Hello! Welcome back. I'm farming freehold for shark bait. I am moving some characters, doing my best. <laughs> Kitty's a ruffle about something. Hi. Can I help you? I know you have food because I saw it this morning and I gave it to you last night. What else is it? Dungeons were not the problem, had some great dungeons. I feel like individually a lot of the dungeons got a lot of complaining about. I remember people complaining about the Venthyr dungeons. Halls of what was it? Halls of Atonement. And then Theater of Pain as well. And then Plague Fall. Um, I know Miss Eterna Scythe was fairly popular. Oh, I have a beacon. That'll work. We're within intro dragons of Vol's vault across Azeroth. Oh man. Uh, no luck there. Yeah, Miss was a nice short dungeon. 
Sanguine Deaths. Oh, maybe I'm mixing them up. You're right. People did complain about Sanguine Deaths. It was Halls of Atonement was not too bad. Although I didn't love Halls of Atonement. I always felt very uncomfortable with the trash in the first half. The bosses were all right. I liked the last boss with the, the statues that he would fling. That was kind of fun. I miss Tazavesh so much. Like the other side. The other side was long for me. And I didn't like having to backtrack. Hulls was our go-to every week. Grip people to their deaths and sanguine on that last boss. I liked Halls of Pain because I would laugh with the Lich Winds would throw people off. Yeah, Halls of Atonement had the statues. The last boss of Sanguine Deaths was... What was the last boss of Sanguine Deaths? I remember the middle bosses in Sanguine Deaths. <laughs> the Woman That Flies. The Stone General. Knockback with the Light Shield. With the beams. It's like not ringing a bell. <laughs> Snow Coconut, thank you for the five month resub. The boss with the stone guard guy and you had to dance. The Naru boss. I don't, re I need to look, hang on. I got to look this up. This is like, I feel like you guys are describing something brand new to me. I swear I played this expansion. So dungeons, Shadowlands. <laughs> Sanguine deaths. So yeah, I remember Crixus. And Tarvold. I don't really remember Brillia. Oh, yeah, 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 I remember Brillia. Yeah, it was kind of on like a balcony. And then you would get into the little, yeah, you would get into the, the little bubble to not get knocked off. That fight was fine. It was kind of boring. Yeah, it wasn't that boring. It was all right. It was a perfectly fine Mythic Plus fight. Apparently not very memorable, though. <laughs> Brilliant was awesome. Tarvold was a mess. See, I think the reverse. I think that, Br that Tarvold was great. The big ring with the big boulders rolling around it. Come on, what's not to like? It was so, it was so cinematic whenever it would smush somebody. First season should be the expansion dungeons. I kind of liked the way they did this, this season, though, because it meant that for season two of Dragonflight, we still had some new dungeons to do, and we didn't have to do all olds that early or, like, replay any of them. I thought that was okay. <sighs> Mist color and explosive weeks? Mm-hmm. <laughs> ah, good times. Dungeon difficulty. Mythic. Very good, very good. I could use a gun, actually. There's a gun mog that I don't know yet from Mythic Council of Captains, so maybe I'll stop and do that. It's just kind of fun hanging out in Freehold. I liked, um, Spartans of Ascension was okay. I don't think I would be in a big hurry to replay any of the Shadowlands dungeons. Like, I can't think of any of them that I would be, like, really excited to see in the rotation. They all had kind of, like, cool parts and then parts that I felt were really frustrating. <laughs> Get him with your attack, Butterfly. <laughs> Truly the most fearsome of creatures. Uh, Council of Captains. Right over here. These guys. I don't know what's up with my spec. I need to just copy my specs from my other hunter. What, my necrotic wake? The trash in the um, petricide looking boss room. That was something. The actual last two bosses I thought were great. Although, I, honestly, the last boss of necrotic wake was a giga snooze fest to heal. 
because you don't run the gauntlet as a healer, so you just stand upstairs, running around and watching your feet, maybe dispelling somebody once in a while for like years. It's so boring to heal. Not every fight needs to be like super exciting, but holy moly, that one was a mega snooze fest. <laughs> yeah, it's a mountain necrotic wake. I need it still. I don't have it. Second last boss room was fun to DPS. Second last boss room was stressful to heal because the DPS always wanted to pull all of it. <laughs> all right, no luck there. Press all CDs have nothing for the boss itself. Not me not knowing the keybind of apotheosis. Mm hmm. I think I was specced into Apotheosis for that whole expansion, and I would press it on purpose, like, twice. Like, at the very end of the expansion, when I was pushing, like, 22 keys when that was harder than it is now, and I was, like, sweating and really trying my best, then I would start using it, not on cooldown, but, like, multiple times at specific, you know, understood upon <laughs> instances in the dungeon. But until then, I was like, I might need that for an emergency, but an emergency hasn't happened yet. Like, I was awful at using that cooldown. I always have been. I'm a I'm a big fat cooldown holder. <sighs> I'm looking to go to Oh, this is a horde character again. Ah, we'll fly the old fashioned way, shall we? There we go. Remember this hunter? <laughs> she needs a better mog. There must be better hunter mogs. I want something that like really says Dark Spear Troll. I want like that voodoo bow. I have a really cool... Yeah, I want the Voodoo Hunting Bow. This is going to take me a minute. Um, but that's okay, because we're, we're just biding time on our instance cap. <laughs> so what then goes with it? I mean, she could use some kind of like a harness. That wouldn't be that crazy. Or like a harness shirt. There is stuff though. I don't want it to be like a Zandalari troll mog. I want something that feels dark spear. With maybe some of those same kind of like reds. Maybe blues. Maybe some like natural wood tones. <laughs> I also, male is not one of my higher collected transmog types. So I'm sure I'm missing things. I must have tried this before and like fallen short. The problem is that low level hunter gear now, because back in the day they used to wear leather at these levels, but now it's just all the old warrior gear basically. Which is like awkward. Does she have a shirt? She's not a she doesn't have a shirt equipped right now. Let's get her a shirt. Seeking away during lunch. Hello, Allison. How you doing? Uh, armor, miscellaneous. I usually just buy like whatever the cheapest shirt is on the auction house. I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but 20 gold. All right, that's fine. And then I just wear one so that I have the option of mogging it. Let's see, we'll hide that for now. Although, I might have missed some good stuff. I might not have. I might not have very much. Because the shirts are totally armor type agnostic. They're not specific to anything in particular. Oh, I don't have harnesses and shirts after all. I kind of thought I did. Have you had an urge to randomize a new character yet? No, I've had too many alts that I want to play that are, like, not randomized. I mean, I could give her, like, a pirate shirt. It's not really what I want. Do they have troll- oh no, Darkspear Heritage is coming. Darkspear Heritage is coming, but it's not here yet. It's coming in one of the patches of between now and the end of Dragonflight. I need it. <laughs> That's going to be really good, I bet. 
Because I don't have the island expedition set. And I don't want to farm it. Yeah. Alright, well, if nothing else, I'm going to at least mog her bow. I'm going to change it because I want to use that bow. Because <laughs> it's really cool looking. I like it a lot. I want stuff that goes with it. <sighs> oh, that's the wrong way. Just as Transmog would like to have a giant sword on my back instead of a cloak for my BM Hunter. <laughs> I saw you. I always do that. I am really, really terrible for that. I am forever running into the uh, the Alliance area as a Horde character. <laughs> Still trying that every time I'm in Dalaran. Where do I even think I'm going? Valdrakan, I suppose? I mean, I can try going to Zoldazar and then taking a port. Let's try this, see if it's any better. See if I can figure out where the port is, or if I have it unlocked. I probably don't. Port to the Echo Isles, Duratar. Because I think you won't take me anywhere. Yeah, I think I'm out of luck. I think we're better off in Valdrakan. It's probably left! Uh -huh. Yeah, maybe. I mean, that's a cool boat. <laughs> hmm. Eh. Now nah, we're just gonna do this via Valdrakan. I always wanted a Zinrock destroyer of worlds, my hunter. Never got it. Had a horde go to Mechagon. Once you've unlocked it, they get some kind of a port there. But trying to do BFA things and characters that never played BFA is the bane of my existence. I hate it. It's always like, oh, you can just go here. Wait, I guess you need to unlock that. Just do this quest line. It'll be really fast. Oh, well, I guess you need to unlock that. Like, it's never as simple as it sounds. I've sworn off of it. I'm just going to fly from Drustvar. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to put myself in a flight path from Drustvar if I have any. And then I'm going to take a break. Hmm. <sighs> Like, if you played through BFA and you did the campaign and you, like, were caught up with everything, then yeah, it's pretty easy. It's pretty straightforward, but, uh, failing that, no luck. Maybe I should, when I level alts, level them through BFA for a while, just to do those early campaign levels and get, like, the boat ports to all the zones and stuff just for the sake of farming later. Might be not too bad. You know a stupid thing that I wish we could get? The ability to choose loading screen art. Oh. Uh, the dungeon portals are not account-wide yet. It's one of those things that they're doing in War Within, although it was not clear if it was going to be retroactive, but I'm hoping that it's going to be retroactive. There we go. All right, I'll be your beat. See if we can get this mail. You guys, my puppies. He's really cute. <laughs> he does this thing when he's like really excited to see me. I'll like sit down with him on his bed, and his tail will be like super wagging, and his front kind of falls over. Like he'll collapse his front legs and his face and neck and stuff like into my lap. But then his butt will stay standing up, <laughs> and the tail will keep going. And it's really cute. And he normally only does it to me first thing in the morning, but he did an extra one today because I guess he was, he, maybe he had like a dream or something. Where is Miss Kay? Oh, she's been in and out. She's been up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. She's been doing the rounds where she'll come sit here and then she'll leave and she'll go meow, and then she'll come back and she'll sit here, et cetera, et cetera. So let's try for that gun again. And then of course, you know, the mount. It's always trying for the mount. But let's uh, take a stab at that, at that gun. What is this? Oh, it's my pet. I, that's right. I summoned him to like upgrade his quality. It's like, do I have 300 pets? He's kind of huge. Is that not like a massive companion pet? I didn't use any stones or anything. That's a deep ridger. It's like a Zerlet Caverns battle pet. Like you, like a, one of the wild caught ones. He's enormous. He's almost the size of a hunter pet. 
I need to get Can I Morgan on this character. It's mandatory. <laughs> Should be enabled enab for everybody. My favorite flavor item in WoW is the Gita. Gun for the ethical and humane treatment of animals. Oh man. What item level do you think is ideal for doing BFA solo? Um, depends on what you want to do in BFA. Some stuff is going to be impossible no matter how much item level you have. Like some of the raid bosses. Um, the dungeons you can do on Mythic at, you know, I'm at 380 uh, and it's fine. But if you want to get into doing doing the raids, you're going to need... I mean, <laughs> like I said, gear is not even really going to be your sticking point for the hard bosses. But they said they were going to do another tuning pass to take a look at the bosses that are like mechanically not not manageable. So hopefully they they follow through on that, and make good on that one, because I would like to farm that. Even with two people, some of the raid bosses are next to impossible. Flabby and I two man mythic, the council one that like silences you. And that was a project. We had to practice that a few times. And then we couldn't do Nizoth because I didn't have Ghost Wolf. No luck on the gun. Great news, everyone. I got my new rig today. Nice, congratulations. Yeah, we got stuck at Old Deer. Well, Older had Nizoth, didn't it? Or was Nizoth somewhere else? The one- Oh no, I'm not thinking of Nizoth, I'm thinking of Gahoon. Pardon me, pardon me, get in my old gods. And old god adjacent squishy things mixed up. Gahoon was, um, we tried to two-man that and we gave up because I couldn't deal with running my half of the thing with the, the bouncy thing that you have to throw. That's right. Yeah, we made it up to Gahoon, but we couldn't quite kill Gahoon. Hello? Plus the blood god. <sighs> Bring back reaping. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm gonna worry about farming those raids later, for the most part. Maybe in War Within. Well, <laughs> Uh, no luck on that. 66 of 200 attempts, it says, although... I don't know. <laughs> I think we have more than that. If, uh, if I hit instance cap here, I'll probably log on to my rogue and then try for the... Try for... Rust Feather and Arachnoid Harvester before we go today. Squidman's cool. Yeah, I don't have that one yet. I just like farming for raid drop mounts. It's such a tradition for me. I don't know. I like doing it every week. Oh, man, what a transmog set. And I guess I can still work on the, the tomb, the tomb, the abyss worm from Mr. Assassin and Tumas Argaris. I could even do it properly and like move a bunch of characters out there to do her on more than one difficulty. But it kind of felt like, like, um, Nighthold was like my last my last great raid drop mount farm that I had available. It's not, but it felt like it. Um... Borealis. How come I don't have any mech gnomes? I need a mech gnome something. Mechanome druid. You're not allowed to be a mechanome druid. It's a travesty. Paladin. Yeah, Sally did not survive the purge. She did good. I, I got what I wanted to from her. 
<sighs> her name didn't really resonate with me. I initially picked it because it was like a four letter name that I could get and I thought that was kind of cool, but it never grew on me. It just kind of looked like I like I mistyped salt. And salt is just a strange name for a fire mage. <laughs> Been doing, doing Nighthold for the Tear Transmog? Reminds me of the regular Gold Daniel stream content. <laughs> Mechanome Warrior or Hunter? I used to have a Mechanome Hunter as well. One of one of the Hazel Alts. Hazel Tron, I think. I think I had a Hazel Tron or a Hazel Bot that was a hunter. That is what's missing from this world. Back and home druids. Make it right, Blizzard. Mine is Spinelli. <laughs> Mechanome Monk is for some reason very funny to me. <laughs> I might end up doing it. It just seems like such a contradiction. Monk seems like, at the core theme of it, they're about, like, being very grounded in your body. And mechanomes <laughs> have, like, I don't know, hydraulics? <laughs> it's just a very different thing. <sighs> I have mechanome hunter. I use for open world net farming and a dead RP rail. Brought me a lot of joy. Their kicks would be extra powerful. Transform into other modes. Very difficult. Prevention difficulty. Mythic. Let's make sure she's got all the things. And can I mog it? And rarity. Rarity did turn on for everybody. Maybe we should turn a few more add-ons on globally. I wonder if the mechanome racials are any good for Mistweaver. They have like a cheat death, which I feel like is kind of good for anybody. Just useful to have. Like an emergency fail safe. What would gnome shaman totems look like? Oil cans! I mean, goblin shamans are a thing. <laughs> they almost have oil cans. They have like little drill rigs, don't they? You can be a goblin shaman, I'm pretty sure. I feel like a gnome shaman totem would be more like gears. It's supposed to be the best DPS for a few classes because of the stacking stat in combat. Mm. Excited to see all the new forms, mounts, totems. <laughs> they have a special class quest where you enter into a contract with the elements elements and just pay them yeah see i think if they're allowed to do that then like anybody should be allowed to be a shaman because anybody could do that <laughs> i think goblin shamans kind of jumped the shark for what should be allowed to be a shaman and i think they should just let anybody do it now the fact that kultirans can't and regular or kultirans can but regular humans can't is goofy to me just make make a few more totem models it'll be fine Eldorado, thank you for the 11 month reset. Mechanome swim animation is so cute, their hands turn into propellers. What? Excuse me? I need to see this. I need I need to I need to see this. How do I see this? I either make a mechanome and I take it swimming, or I like dig around in the wowhead model viewer. Hang on a second here. Let's try it, let's try for the mount. <laughs> That's amazing. Kultiran humans and worgen can be druids, but regular humans can't for some reason. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I forgot about Kultiran druids. <laughs> I know I have a Kultiran druid, but I like forgot about Kultiran druids. <laughs> oh, I forgot that he um, he'll kick me right out of the instance. That's nice. I should have been doing that.
How about them clean bags? Haha! <laughs> <sighs> I'm gonna poke around and look for something. Wowhead model viewer tools dressing room no not dressing room what's a mechanome npc i usually do this with model viewer Prince, what's his name? Erasmin. Yeah, alright, here we go. He's a mechanome, so if we view him in 3D. Huh. His shoulders have like a funny little thing. Animation. I just want to see their swimming animation. My god. <laughs> okay, I need one. <laughs> I need it. This is not an option. Time for a new alt! <laughs> nah, I'm not finished with uh not finished with freehold. I'm if I only have um so many characters, I'm gonna take the alliance ones. Mechanome don't get rusty? Mechanomes very much get rusty. Make rust colored mechanome. Horde character to Cold Tears if I didn't do the BFA intro. What I've been doing on my Horde characters is I've been taking the Valdraken port to Drustvar and then flying. It's kind of ugly, but it gets the job done. It takes a chunk longer than, than flying from Borealis, though. My monk is a mechanome for that reason. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a mechanome monk. I wonder if I should use any of my saved names. I have a couple of names saved on Lightbringer. I have Shellfish. I have Squidgy. <laughs> Squidgy the mechanome mistweaver monk. Maybe it should be an M name so it can be like, I don't know, Marbles the mechanome mistweaver monk. <laughs> Molly Wobbles. Shortcut MW. I think Molly Wobbles is too long, but that would be incredible. <laughs> Squidgy sounds like your second known priest or Inksy's long lost sister. I don't know what I'm holding on to Squidgy for, but I feel like it's important. <laughs> Voltomer and Boltimer. Megamog. People just say that Mistweaver is fun. I don't know what they do, but people say that it's fun. Huh. Press Cocoon and win. Love my Miss Weaver, so amazing at Mythic Plus. Do you have to spend time in melee doing damage? Do you have to? Is that an important factor of it? Because that's kind of what I'm allergic to. I'm supposed to do it on my Resto Druid too, but I don't. They heal with their feet. Oh. Mm. Mm. I don't know. That doesn't sound like me. But, you know, maybe you play alts to do different things and not just the same things that you always like to do. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I'm a traditionalist. I think I should heal wearing cloth robes from the back of the group. You know, I need to wear something pretty and I need to cast from 40 arts. <laughs> Well, not 40 yards, but you know what I mean. 
Mm -hmm. At least we have a nice name list. Mm -hmm. But the physical damage debuff you apply. Melee. <laughs> Melee is no right place for a <laughs> young healer like myself. <laughs> no place to be at all. Oh yeah, this character's plate, so she has a chance at all that plate mods that I want. So I'm gonna do all the bosses in this run. I need a belt from Craig. Oh yeah, she could get the gun too. Eh? She could get the gun from Council of Captains. She's in like a prot spec with like half of her talents on his bench. I think if she ever had other weapons, they're gone now, <laughs> unless I put them in my bank. So I may as well take like a starter build for prot. Nah, I don't really have any pandas. I never managed to stick with them. What about poor Molly Wobbles? <laughs> Give him a chance. Molly Wobbles, the male mystery. Of life. Wow, I do not do very much damage. Mind you, I'm at a level 383 with uh, heirloom weapons on in prod spec. Um, some of these buttons will do damage. Shield Slam certainly does damage. Revenge. That's the one I want. There we go. Press that button more. <laughs> I'm like mousing over them being like, ignore pain's not going to help me here. <laughs> this is not the right choice. There we go. I do have the Underrock Krog. It's the only BFA dungeon mount that I have. How long does one need to heal before they stop being a young healer? Oh, I'm always going to be a young healer. I'm uh, innocent and squishy. Alright, one gun, please. For some reason, I've decided I want it now. <laughs> I'm on Heroic, aren't I? No, I'm on Mythic. I turned it on to Mythic. Why is one of these people helping me? I swear I fought all three of them before. Maybe that was when I was accidentally on Normal. Or something? Because you didn't kill shark bait. Oh, weird. But I. I don't know. I'm confused. <laughs> Maybe you like sprinkles hair. How are you not aggroing? I'm a much higher level, so I'm gonna have a much smaller aggro radius. I'm level seventy. These guys are only level fifty. You'll still pull stuff if you run like right on top of them. Greetings all. Greetings, Dame Avant. I hope you're doing well today. <laughs> We're doing some uh, freehold farming today for Sharkbait, but don't worry, you didn't miss it. <laughs> We've got nothing. A couple pieces of transmog here and there. Got home from brunch. Necessary shopping. Very nice, very nice. I need to get groceries at some point and buy some pumpkins so I can make Moosey some more cookies. Now have much needed new winter boots. <gasps> so exciting. Do you do the thing when you get new boots where you take them home and you find a place to spray them with like the weatherproofing spray? My parents always made me do that. <laughs> it's really stinky. <laughs> I leave them on the balcony whenever it's not raining to, to try and dry when I first do it because bad fumes for inside. <sighs> Totally do that. Can you do it on my balcony? Mm -hmm. It's one of those things that I bought that I'm like, I'm. <laughs> I would never have done this on my own, but. You know, every now and then your parents actually manage to drill something into you. I 
kitty, welcome back. I got the pig, I got the pig. My, uh, my boots. They're not, like, crazy warm, but they're fine. I don't really need warm boots, especially if it's only gonna be, like, 11, 10 degrees here. <laughs> Maybe I don't really need winter wear anymore. What if there's no more winter weather? Can never catch that pig. The secret, or a secret, that I used to use back when it was Mythic Plus and it was important is to use the new interact keybind um, because if you mash that and you just kind of run in the proximity of the pig, you don't actually have to click on it. You can just mash your interact key and it will click on it for you as if you're assuming you're in range. Great. I used to, I used to, I used to catch the heck out of that pig. 30 Celsius here at night. Oof. That's awful. 80 up two days ago. Looked at the character, saw Tiny Gnome. Brain somehow thought you were on a rogue. Was very confused when you talked about warrior things. What? My warrior does look fairly similar to my rogue. Do they have the same hair? I think they might have different hair. They might both have green hair. I've been wearing this mog for ages. Crinkle is love. My favorite thing when this dungeon was current for Mythic Plus was turning on the voice acting for the Ring of Booty. Because they're very funny, the announcers. These are too big two-handers to look menacing. I feel like I might have vendored them. I either stashed them in my bank because I knew I would vendor them, or I forgot to do that and then I definitely vendored them. I'm not too fussed about it. Do you ever get sick of cold weather? Uh, I live in a very, very temperate part of Canada, so we still have like summer and stuff. Uh, most places do, but we, we have pretty warm summers here. I get sick of dark weather more than I get sick of cold weather. I don't mind the cold, I don't like the dark. But lots of people feel that way. <laughs> Working all afternoon and clearing my bags on my main. I want to make a Volpera warrior just because, but I shouldn't. Why ever not? <laughs> what do you got to lose? Lots of people get tired of the cold. It's the reason my parents retired to Vancouver rather than staying out east. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you lived in a place that had real cold like that, you definitely would. I bundle up a lot even when it's not super cold outside. And then I like doing that. But then when I get home and I'm trying to like take a harness and a leash off of my dog and then also take like seven layers off of myself and then like not lose like my glasses or like... <laughs> Getting unlayered when you've been super layered, especially if any of them are pullover layers or quarter zip layers and not full zip layers, um, is like a project. <laughs> Dad moves south where he wouldn't have to do snow removal anymore as he gets older. <laughs> Are you more likely to reuse layers because they don't smell? Um, you, most of the time outerwear layers, you don't really wash them unless they get something dirty on them. The ones that get like body odor on them are the ones that are next to your skin. So those you would wash like your normal clothes, like normal laundry, but you don't really wash your jackets much, if at all. They shouldn't be getting any sweat on them. Sometimes I get big dog paw prints on them because not even my dog. <laughs> Other dogs will smell that I have treats in my pocket for my dog and they'll be like, huh, and they'll have muddy paws and I'll get like two perfect like paw tattoos on my jacket. <laughs> I don't really mind. The owners sometimes mind and I try not to like, I don't know, give a bunch of attention to the dog and like reinforce it for jumping up, but it's hard because I, I just want to beat dogs. <laughs> I've been stamped by a dog. I think my raincoat has just, like, paw prints in dirt on the back of it. I tried washing it, but it was surprisingly hard to get it off. Okie dokie. What was I gonna do after Crinkle? I forget. I know if I hit Instance Cap, I'm gonna try... I'm gonna try for, um... Rest Feather. <laughs> That's how they give their seal of approval. Mm -hmm. 
Rush Feather is a must. Mega Monk, Mega Monk, <laughs> Mega Monk. Uh, Kitty's not deaf, she's blind. She wasn't always blind, but she lost her sight over the last couple of years. Kira's so sweet. I love it when she sits like this and she puts all four paws in like this little tiny little grid square. <laughs> okay, we're going to Borellis. A moment of your time that the Council of the Black Harvest requires your assistance. Oh no. <laughs> Gotta go. See ya. She says, Kira is so adorable and your purple lights are so cool. Oh, I thank you. I have, uh, one of them is, is like a pretty, the lights are pretty, pretty inexpensive. If I could go back in time and be a kid with a bedroom again. Actually, I guess they weren't inexpensive back then. <laughs> I would be all about the colored LEDs. I would put them like behind my desk. I want to do this. One. That's right. <laughs> Being hypnotized by the Oribos portal for some reason. I said thank you very, very much. I need to start thinking about taking down... I guess I can wait until after New Year's. Taking down some holiday decorations. <sighs> Cleaning up a little bit around here. <laughs> I was thinking about... For some reason, I was th on some kind of a tangent where I was like, what if one day, not in this place, but in a future place, I wanted to update my kitchen by painting the cabinets, because people say that's like easy and cheaper than making a lot of other kitchen renovations. And I was like, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to read some articles that talk to me about how to do it. And by the time I got like halfway through reading the articles, I was like incredibly tired <laughs> because it's like you got to take them off and sand them and prep them. And you got to do layers and you got to have a place for it to dry that has like ventilation. And I'm imagining trying to do this in like a townhouse and I'm like, ooh, ooh, I don't know. Never mind. Maybe they're fine in whatever hypothetical color they came in. I thought it was supposed to be easy. <laughs> I love the idea of like renovating a place to like make it exactly the way that I want it. But I feel like I would hate everything about actually renovating. And the best possible solution would be to somehow happen into a giant pile of money and then somehow happen into somebody very trustworthy that I could just pay to do it all for me, preferably while I am out of town. <laughs> just come home and have everything done. I am Ryman. Thank you very much for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. Hypothetical location air the met could be the garage. I don't think most of the townhouses that I can hypothetically afford have garages. A lot of them are kind of parking lot situations. They, some of them have patios, um, which would maybe work in nice weather in the summer, but I don't know if um, fumes in your shared strata patio would be against strata bylaws. I would hate to incur the wrath of my hypothetical strata. That's a difficulty mythic. <laughs> yeah, one door at a time on the patio. There you go. Do it in batches. I mean, I bet it would be worth it if I did a really good job and I really liked, like, the plan and the scheme for it. I've I've never really, like, properly updated a place beyond just shopping for, like, rugs and curtains and furniture and stuff like that. Um, putting up art. But I love the idea of, of making it, not, like, perfect, but making it mine, you know? It's highly likely that if I if I one day move, that my next place will not have as nice of a kitchen as this one because it seems like there's just no way this unit is missing a lot of things and doesn't. It's kind of short on closets, and it's kind of short on storage, okay, closets. Um, not a ton of square footage, but holy moly, the kitchen's nice. <laughs> all, all all of the all of the room went to the kitchen. <laughs> Should start storing my bath towels in my kitchen cabinets. Um, so I'm going to have to get used to a smaller kitchen, but it's going to be mine. It's going to be my kitchen. Still rather pay someone to do it. I just have so many... I spent my childhood watching 
like home reno shows like homes on homes and half of those shows was just some homeowner that had been scammed by a contractor that had done horrible work stole their money and jetted off to sunny cuba and then the show has to like fix all of this damage and like non-code work that was done by somebody and it's made me very afraid of contractors <laughs> That's a much later me problem. I have this bad habit of worrying about things that are like nine steps away from being a thing and then not worrying about any of the things that are currently like active issues in my life. <sighs> I don't think I have a warlock pet out right now. I guess I don't need one. <laughs> Any luck? No. Uh, content creation is my full-time job, so streaming slash YouTube, I would say. I do that too. I think I do it to distract myself from present me things that I should be thinking about. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> What if the killer coming at me with a club slips and falls and I'm liable for his injuries? <laughs> you know what thought I had recently that kind of reminds me of that? Is I was thinking about like where my driving anxiety could come from because it's obviously easy to say I'm anxious about driving because I could die. But when I really think about it, I think I'm not afraid of death or injury or chronic pain. I'm afraid of having to deal with an insurance company and talk to a stranger. That's my deathly fear. Not death insurance. I have insurance. You have to. Um, but I have... <laughs> that's that's my worst nightmare, is having to exchange information and deal with something like that. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Oh, man. <sighs> there would be forms to fill out, right? <laughs> that's like life-ruining level of, level of stuff. That's why I, I pull out of parking lots incredibly slowly with high degrees of vigilance because I do not want to ding anybody's car. <sighs> Have I really not hit instant cap yet? I guess I've been going slowly enough that I've probably rolled into a new one. Should Night Flynn try this? Phone calls to make? Mm -hmm. What is acrophobia? Fear of acrobats. Fear of <laughs> it's probably not fear of acrobats. Acrophobia. Fear of heights. Oh, what is fear of acrobats? Somebody must be afraid of them. Fear of acrobats. F not fear of doing acrobatics. Fear of people that are good at acrobatics. It's mostly just <laughs> people talking about fear of heights. <laughs> All right. I'm going to free hunt. That's right. <laughs> Do you even need a kitchen? Ex-colleague was satisfied with electric grill, air fryer, water heater. None of those allowed in the door. Mm -hmm. I think I need at least... Enough counter space to do prep. Um, you want to be able to have some room to have... I like being able to arrange my tools. And I need a comfortable space to chop things. And I don't have to go do it on my kitchen table and then bring my carrots back and stuff. I don't cook incredibly well. But I do cook things that require you to like... I don't know, have some mixing bowls and measure a few things and like chop a few things. You know, like a sink exactly. <laughs> Too nice out not to hike today. Have a great weekend. Have a great hike. Mm. Says something with the legitimate question asked. Do you need a kitchen? <sighs> There's a lot of kitchens that are extremely small, and I'm curious as to how well I would adapt to that. 
because I'm so spoiled by having such a, a wonderful big kitchen right now. Yeah, I don't know. I think I would need to be a little bit more minimal about the types of things that I choose to store. And I would probably need to be a bit organized about the types of things I do. But people make beautiful meals in far less kitchen than I have. It's not like it's necessary. Plus, I am holding out for a dishwasher. That is one thing that most of these places, even with small kitchens, have, is they have dishwashers. And I don't have one now. I would like one. <laughs> you don't need one for one person. But when you're doing two people plus cooking dishes, it's nice. Uses less water. depends on how much and how often you cook. I'm pretty sure that I cook less often than I think I do. Is is how I've been <laughs> in the last couple years of my life anyway. <sighs> it's a non-zero amount, but it is almost certainly less frequent than I imagine it to be. Uh, <laughs> Friend of mine cooks every day for his family, having some space is nice, spends a lot of time in the kitchen. <laughs> Considered not washing your dishes. Yeah. Countertop dishwashers hijack your, your sink. Like, you have to hook them up to water. Or you have to, like, fill the water in a reservoir. And then you have... To, it's like a big chunk of your counter. I don't know. I don't think it's worth it for this place. I've looked into it before. They're also not cheap. If I was going to get a big appliance that's not cheap, I would maybe get a chest freezer so I could for, have more room to freeze more meal prep and just buy in bulk. That's like the Canadian dream, <laughs> is to have a big chest freezer where you can, like, freeze a bunch of lasagnas and, I don't know, your milk from your gigantic Costco run and whatever, and then you've got food for two months. Raid difficulty, dungeon difficulty, mythic. Countertop dishwashers also hijack your stream chat. <laughs> What's your favorite thing to make with chickpeas? Or garbanzo beans, as they're called in some places. I make... Um, I put them... Sometimes I put them in chili. I put them in curry. Uh, I make like a... Like a curry. And then... I used to put them into like a, like a burger patty, like a veggie burger, but I don't really bother with that anymore. What do you guys like to do with them? Oh yeah, hummus. <laughs> you can freeze milk? I've seen, I've never done it, but I've heard of it done, especially for people that live on like the more remote islands where they can only shop like once a month. Um, they would buy like a lot of dairy and they would freeze some of it to preserve it for longer. Chickpea noodle casserole. Oh. Run. Danger, danger. Butternut Charging. squash, onions, mm. paneer for tofu, and a ton of spices. Ooh, that does sound good. My thing with chickpea recipes is I need it? them to be, like, soupy or saucy. I need it to be not dry. I'm not a big fan of chickpeas when they are just, like, dry. They get too, like, mealy. Um, but if you, like, really cook them down and you cook them into, like, a really Run. saucy curry or something like that, like a casserole where they're really soft Charging. and well-cooked, I really like them. I wonder how expensive the a butternut danger, squash danger. is these days. It's, like, over under five bucks. <laughs> I have a bad feeling it might be over. Brown rice, cilantro, taco bag salad, garlic right. ale. Sounds pretty good. I stopped buying bag salad because I never eat. I eat it one time Charging. and then I forget about it until it's slimy. Inevitably. I've just given up on it. I get vegetables from other sources. Target. In the summer, I grow lettuce and then I can put lettuce in sandwiches danger, and stuff. Danger. But I, I don't bother buying it because I'll never remember to eat it more than once. It's just not who I am. <laughs> it's not, not where I'm at at this point in my life. I liked buying spinach, but I just never, ever, ever ate it fast enough or enough of it. And I tried for years. Why did I kill that boss? I don't need anything from it on a demon hunter. <laughs> Cook the squash onions together, use the canned chickpeas, they were too dry. Mm. I love buying dry chickpeas. I don't know what my obsession with it is. I like buy them and then pre-soak them and then I like pressure cook them with stuff. Substitute for other squash, sweet potatoes would probably work. Ooh. Ooh. Do you just like serve it on rice or what? <laughs> Any sort of greens. Well, that's the thing is I'm, I'm not really buying. I'll occasionally do broccoli. Um, and then I do frozen greens. Like uh, peas and 
broccoli and just like uh, stir fry greens and stuff. Like I buy frozen vegetables because those ones I can forget about them and they won't die on me. But I, I don't do fresh greens because I never remember to eat them fast enough. It was just a waste of money. It was a dis- I was disrespecting the, the greens. I don't think I'm a very good demon hunter. I'm just way? using Annihilation and it's not really getting me very far. No rice? Phase two. Bread in the side. Oh. Phase I three. See. Share the rest of it, I'm not sure how to. Ah, it's alright. Any luck? No. Alright. I think I'm gonna leave most of these characters out here and that way we can do this faster next week. <laughs> you could do rice. I like Fred. I get really hungry if I don't eat like a lot of carbs. <laughs> it might just be what I'm used to, but now I want to need food for dinner. That sounds amazing. Mm -hmm. I have leftover chili for lunch. I had some frozen chili for the last time that I had a big batch of chili. I think I'm just getting hungry because it's like 20 to noon. I love carbs, do not fill me up. So ripsy. Ah, let's take one, one, one shot at Rust Feather. We'll do one less Rust Feather camp. Send your hold horde else to King's Rest? Oh, that's not a bad idea. I don't hate that. <laughs> but I don't want to move the characters too much. I don't like the travel time. Although, obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna run into more issues with um I'm gonna run into more issues with uh instance cap next week if I'm not doing that travel time. Yeah, well, let's just go camp a rest feather, shall we? Roasted same with chickpeas? Oh, that sounds good. I think Ripsy... Yeah, I think Ripsy also has the same hair. And I think you're right. I think she has the same hair as Crinkle. I don't know if they both have, like, the little, the little cone buns. But they might. <laughs> There's a few people here. Maybe that means that it's not super recently dead. Spawns in this general area. Well, now I want to change your hair. <laughs> I can't have two matching characters, can I? I guess I could. What do you guys like to do anyway for this kind of thing to spawn? Play with the toy box? This is like the May Blaster. Oh, that's funny. There's a toy that tunes out, I guess, emote sound and toy sounds from people around you. I like to watch Twitch streams. Mm. Here's the Bejeweled Game toy. Level to 70 for the first time. Do I carry on with Dragonflight or the Emerald Dream Story? I would carry on with the Emerald Dream Story specifically. I would jump straight to that and then go into that. It'll help you get geared up at 70. Everlasting Fireworks, always good. Mm. Get some forks. Eternal Palace dining set. What did that do? I like flung a falling star. Use it in BG so I don't have to hear the inevitable train. Hmm. Specimen container. 
Mm. I've never used this. It's a Dragonflight tailoring toy that you can use to cover up a recently deceased, and I'm assuming like a friendly dead person, in a funeral pall. And I usually love a good toy that interacts with <laughs> bodies. I love Cadgar's disenchanting run. Sometimes in raid, somebody will die on trash, and I'll res them, but I'll disenchant them first. <laughs> Uh, there's a good one. The Golden Dragon Goblet. Display your wealth to the world, leaving riches in your wake. Why doesn't Flabby use that more often? <laughs> Seems like a very Flabby toy. You could... I wonder if you could macro that into stuff. Chop them up, set them on fire, toss a blanket on them! <laughs> turns them into a pile of ash. The Disenchanting Rod turns them into like a little pile of magic dust. You shard them, it's great! Toss a Gormling, it'll run back to you. I don't remember getting most of these things. There we go. Giggle goggles, very important. Sunborn Valkyr pet reses dead critters. I didn't know that it could res dead critters. I know I have lots of toys that kill critters. <laughs> this is what the giggle goggles does. It turns everybody into a null. Except for you, of course. No tent. Is it on this page? Do I have it? I do have it. Whoa. I paid a lot of the beam off for that goblin weather machine. Giggle goggles make me want no playable race. Uh, only something. I don't know what I want as a playable race anymore. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay. <laughs> I was a little worried that would start to, uh, that would send me off the world, off the world. I haven't used a lot of these. Hot feet. A lot of midsummer toys. Sometimes I think about farming BGs for honor levels, doing solo shuffle for the vicious mount. Remember, I'd have to farm and carry a set of PvP gear with me. Mm -hmm. Naga, Sethrak, Arakoa. Naga for me. I could go either way on Sethrak and Arakoa. They would be fine. I want dryads and centaurs. We're just dryads. I want to be like Terrandrella. Oh my goodness, the Jiro Circle of Song interacts with the Giggle Goggles and it summons a little circle of, um, <laughs> gnolls. Only for me, I think other people would see the Jiro. Yeah, Jingy would be neat. Oh, there's Rothra. Make sure we tag it. <laughs> Can't be too busy with toys. Any luck? No. No luck. That's all right. Been asking for ethereals at every BlizzCon since Cataclysm. One day, my wish will come true. All right. That was a cozy mount farming morning. We didn't get any, but you can't win them all. I'll be back tomorrow and Sunday for some weekend streams. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a news video today for tomorrow. We'll see. Put it down as a maybe, but I wouldn't expect too much from it. I don't think there's been any news. It's kind of like a holiday week. I appreciate you guys very much, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.